Hey everybody, welcome back to VGC Regulation G, where today we're going to be using Dialga Origin Form. I know, this is not like a, a natural progression of Pokemon that I've been using. I don't really know. I mean, I guess it was like, what, Kyogre and then Maridon and then Koridon. Is that it? Is that really all I used? Man, that's crazy. Um, anyway, today we're using Dialga Origin form on a Trick Room team. Let's look at it really quick here. If you didn't know, Dialga got a new form as of Pokemon Legends Arceus. You turn into it by holding an Adamant Crystal. It's very similar to how Giratina Origin form works, um, except instead of having uh, like basically exactly the same stats and your ability is different, <laughs> you get a nice little stat redistribution. So they take away 20 attack, put it in your defense, Bob's your uncle, now you're even bulkier. Isn't that super crazy? Um, so basically we're running this on a Trick Room team because Diago's got 90 speed, which is just like decently fast for a restricted format. But it's just kind of weird to play Diago on like a tail room, on a Tailwind team. It just doesn't really work out. Um, probably you can modify this into like a tail room team and it'd be pretty cool, but I like it the way that it is. So running the Alga, we're running not minimum speed, but we're running just like no speed investment. So outside of Trick Room, we will still outspeed Trick Room Pokemon. Inside of Trick Room, we will outspeed, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll move before Pokemon that are faster than the Alga, which is nice. We're running Dragon Pulse, Flash Cannon, Protect, and Trick Room. I'm running Terra Grass because it's a decent defensive typing for Dialga, and also we'll get around like Spore, Rage Powder, stuff like that. And then I'm running Smeargle. Um, this Smeargle I'm actually kind of proud of. It's very neat. I'm running just enough speed on this Smeargle to underspeed our Dialga by one speed, um, which means that we will outspeed most Rillaboom and Incineroar, and we will fake them out before they can fake us out, which is really cool. I'm running Follow Me, I'm running Trick Room, and I'm running Decorate. Andy, you're not running Spore on your Smeargle. Oh my God, I don't care, all right? Smeargle doesn't need it. It doesn't need it. We don't need Spore. We have enough without it, all right? Um, follow me is really nice just for redirection. If we lead Dialga Smeargle and we're in a situation where we need to redirect an attack, Smeargle will always redirect at least two attacks, which is nice. Um, running Trick Room, because people don't expect Smeargle to play Trick Room. Um, it's very funny because uh, Smeargle can have any move in the game and people rarely ever rare trick, run Trick Room on it. So if we go up against like a Caloric Shadow, Nine times out of ten, we can just click tr Trick Room on our Smeargle and we'll get it off because they're just going to Astral Barrage and try and do as much damage toward Dialga as they can, which is very, very funny. <laughs> um, and then Decorate. Since we're slower than our Dialga in Trick Room, we will Decorate before trick before Dialga attacks, which is really nice. And if our Dialga is not in any danger of getting uh, knocked out, we can actually Decorate into Dialga as Trick Room goes up and then Decorate again and go up to plus four, which is super cool. Um, we're running Ursaluna. Um, I think that physical Ursaluna is one of the best partners for Trick Room Dialga. That's because it hits a, a lot of stuff that Dialga can't really hit. It's physical, and Dialga has telepathy, which means that it will not take damage from an earthquake, which is really nice. Um, and then I'm just running a, like an expanding force spam, uh, kind of core in the back. I was running in DB because it was really nice, you know, more redirection, some like priority blocking, really cool stuff. And I was originally running in an Amorous, and. I'm sad, the Namorous is kind of bad. So I'll switch to this Hatterene, because um, basically Hatterene is what an Amorous, how good an Amorous could be if an Amorous could actually click Trick Room. Um, we are running a lot of Trick Room setters. We are getting that Trick Room off. Expanding Force, Dazzling, Protect, Trick Room, just good stuff. Um, nothing too crazy going on. Magic Boust means we can't get Sport, we can't get Taunted. Um, Water Terra, just for defensive Terra. Indeedy Female, it's Indeedy Female. It does the Indeedy Female thing, except we're running Healing Wish. I wasn't originally wearing this on this team, but then I remembered that it uh, did really good at the last regional, so I decided to throw it on here. Um, if I have a Dialga in the back with like one HP and a Healing Wish and I bring it back in, then that's that's pretty good. Um, and lastly, we have Amoongus, um, just a pretty standard Amoongus except I forgot to give it the right ability because I had to recreate this team because I made it at work and then I lost it. There we go. <laughs> um, Citrus Berry, Terra Water, Leaf Storm I'm testing out uh, right now. I just added it on here. I wasn't running it before. Um, apparently it has a really good role to KO Urshifu Rapid Strike, which is pretty neat. Uh, Spore, Pollen Puff, Rage Powder, nothing too, too crazy going on here. Um, except for the Leaf Storm, and that's the team. Hopefully we get some good battles, and hopefully you enjoy them, and you like, and you comment, and you subscribe, you freeloader. Just kidding. All right, here we go. Okay, this is fine, <sighs> except Chiyu Fluttermane is a pretty awful lead for us, isn't it? 
Um, I think it'll be okay. I think because, I mean, at least we take neutral damage from Flutterman, which is not too bad. But if they click double spread moves, I mean, what am I going to do? You know what I mean? I think it's pretty safe to just go for Smeargle Dialga in the lead here. I'm going to bring... I think I just want to go Ursa Luna and Didi in the back. Right? Ah, they lead the Amoogus. Well, that's just fine by me. Let me think about this. I'm going to go... Decorate, Terra Grass, Trick Room. See how much damage you do. Close combat into the Smeargle is crazy. That's a crazy play. You're a crazy person. <laughs> oh, you're in trouble now. <laughs> you're in trouble now. Um, I think this Amoongus is probably going to click a damaging move. Zacian is either going to protect or switch out. There's no way it wants to stay in here. Um, I'm tempted to decorate again. Um, but if they like Rage Powder, that's not great for us. I am going to switch in Ursa Luna, I think. And I'm just going to click Flash Cannon targeting Zacian. Let's see if they protect. No, Rillaboom comes in. Okay, we're going to do a good chunk of damage to Rillaboom here. Sludge Bomb hurts, but it's actually fine. <laughs> That's just plus two, man. That's so good. Uh, okay, we definitely just earthquake, right? <laughs> oh no, it's it's weekend actually. Um, let me think about this here. I'm going to I'm going to facade Amoongus and a flash cannon Zacy, and they do just protect. That's okay. They sludge bomb again. We're gonna take a hit. That's okay. KO. Ooh, not quite. Ooh, okay. Let me think about this. Let me think, let me think. I don't want to take another... Do I eat another Sludge Bomb? I don't. That's kind of unfortunate. I'm going to go ahead and... We we'll only have two turns of Trick Room. That's not quite enough. I'm going to click Headlong Rush. Who cares? What do they have? The, if they, unless they have Tornadus in the back. Nothing wants to eat that. I'll just protect. Oh yeah, Chiyu's going to maybe live on Sash if it's Sash. Let's see. They go for the Sludge Bomb again. Um, honestly, like, Wolfie Glick is so mean for popularizing that. <laughs> Like, just straight up. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this and get Smeargle in. We're gonna actually sack our Smeargle, but that's fine. Because then we get... Because we get the KO the Amoongus. And then we get a DD in. What are they gonna do? What are you gonna do about this, huh? I guess you could Terra. We don't... We haven't seen a Terra on this Zacian yet. Terra Dark? Who cares? Oh my god. That did no damage. <laughs> We're so good at this game. Wait. <laughs> oh, we're so good at this game, guys. <laughs> oh, man. That was so good. Okay. Let's lose. We're going to lose, like, so hard now. All right. Let me think. 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 I want to do something. Uh, Well, if they get Trick Room up, we're just kind of, like, screwed, right? Uh, Hatterene is... <sighs> not slower than Torkoal. What can I do to stop Trick Room from going up? All right. I think I'm going to lead Smeargle Dialga. And we're just going to have to try our best. I really think that's the only thing we can do. And then in the back, what do we want to do? Let's go... I'm going to go Ursa Luna and Amoongus. Let's see how that goes. Okay. Yeah, this is more or less the lead I was expecting. I can fake out here if I so choose. Yeah, I'm going to have to fake out here. Let's see if we can't fake out Lilligant and Dragon Pulse Torkoal. Uh, if it's Covert Cloak, we'll just lose, I guess. <laughs> is it Covert Cloak? It is not! GG! <laughs> uh, well, it's not a GG, but it's, it's pretty close. I'm not going to lie to the people. I'm going to decorate. And now I'm going to Terra Grass. And, well, actually, hmm, I'm going to follow me so they can't do the thing. And I'm just going to click Dragon Balls again. Because they can't after you if I follow me. They're just going to after you into my Smeargle. After you being a redirection move is, or being redirectable is so nice, and, except for when I'm playing it. <laughs> if everybody's after you could just be redirected except for mine, that would be great. They'd miss a Sleep Powder. That's actually phenomenal. Uh, okay. I think we can win now. 
I feel pretty good. There's Gallade. Well, Gallade's fine, I guess. Um, what do I want to do? I want to switch to Amoongus, and I want to Terra Grass, I think, and I want to... I think the Gallade's actually scary right now. I want to Dragon Pulse Gallade. Let's see how much we do. Bonk! <laughs> We're so good at this game! <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna... Well, there's a couple of things I could do here. Gallade can probably knock out Amoongus. I think we switch back to Smeargle and we try to KO Gallade. Gallade doesn't usually run Protect. After you Psycho Cut, it's just fine. We actually lived that just fine. And now we have Fake Out Pressure again. And unless indeed he's the last Pokemon, which I really wouldn't expect, it's probably Calyrex Ice Rider. No, it's actually Armor Rouge. Whoa, what? Why? Do I want to set up Trick Room now? Maybe I want to set up Trick Room now. They haven't tear it at all. Let's try to Fake Out Armor Rouge. And yeah, let's set up Trick Room. Terra Grass is just okay. That's fine, I'm okay with that. There's the Pollen Puff, does it KO me? It does. That's really unfortunate. Um, but we still have Redirection, he said, hopefully. Let me think about this. I want to, what do I want to do? I have no idea what Smeargle eats right now. I can try to set up Trick Room, but if I don't get it, then I'll just, I'll cry. You know what I mean? Let's go for it. I think I lose, let's see. Sleep Powder's the play, that's crazy. Meteor Beam? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, guys. We're cooked. We're cooked. We're so cooked. <laughs> Wait. Uh-oh. Um, okay. This is the play. This is the only play that I have. Do they have an attack that can hit Ursaluna for super effective? What did I click? Pollen Puff? I don't need to click Pollen Puff, do I? No. Um, but I don't really have a better move to click. So I guess, I guess, yeah, that's just gonna be the play. Why did they sleep powder again? I'm already burned. Okay. Okay, great. Okay, great. Great, 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 great. Click sleep powder again. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> uh, I wasn't expect, I, for, I forgot Lilligant even learned Pollen Puff to be honest with you, that's crazy. Oh, we're so good at this game. <laughs> I'm having a great time, guys. This team is so funny. Okay. Um, well, this is actually really scary if I'm being honest with y'all. I'm gonna do the same lead because I think we can get away with it if we're good enough. And then in the back, I think, do I want Ice Spam in the back? I don't know what I want in the back. I could bring Hatterene Sans, Sans like terrain. Maybe if I wanted to, right? You know what? Let's do it. Let's bring Psy Spam in the back. Okay. This is actually just fine. Um, unless the Fluttermane has Trick Room. If the Fluttermane is like Sash in Prison Trick Room, I don't know if we can win this. I'm gonna go for Fake Out into Ogre Pond. I'm gonna try to set up Trick Room. Let's see what happens. Flinch. It is in fact in Prison Trick Room Fluttermane. That really sucks. What can I do? I can follow me. And I can Flash Cannon the Fluttermane. Oh, they just hard switch? That's crazy. You're a crazy person. Which one of these Pokemon is fast? That Flash Cannon did a lot of damage. Um, I can set up Trick Room now, actually, if I really want to. I think if I Terra Ghost Smeargle, I guaranteed get this out. Because there's no way they don't click Collision Course, right? That's scary. I think it's the play, though. Oh, maybe we... Maybe this is the time. Because maybe they're going to double up into the Dialga slot. I'm gonna make a read. Let's make the read. Let's see. Oh, they went for Heat Crash. It doesn't matter. All right, that's fine. We get into DD in. And DD is the GOAT, right? And is going to make sure that we get Trick Room up. They can't do anything about it. Okay. Collision Course. That's a lot of damage. Oh, I don't like that. But now we have both of these guys. I'm gonna Expanding Force, targeting the Ogre Pond slot. Um, I want to believe that that KOs. We don't know if Rillaboom's in the back, but if it is, that's really scary. And then I'm going to Dragon Pulse this slot. Let's see. Spiky Shield. 
Oh, they just protect. Wow, what a jerk. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. It's not fine, but it's fine. I think I can win this as long as Rillaboom's not in the back. If Rillaboom's in the back, I might I might be in trouble. But if Rillaboom's not in the back, I think we win this a lot. I heard that you were talking shit and you didn't think that I would hear it. Oh, there he is. There's that guy. Oh, no. We don't KO. That's really bad. <sighs> All right, well, you got it. When you got it, you got it. I can't win this. <laughs> I needed that expanding force to KO. That really sucks. <laughs> Damn. I guess I needed to double Ogre Pond. If I had doubled Ogre Pond, it was probably doable. That's on me, I guess. Man, I can't believe Rillaboom was the last one. <laughs> I'm so sad. Um, okay, Terrapagos. The way that we beat Terrapagos is we set up faster than it. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I got right now. <laughs> yeah, let's do this. Okay, um, Incident in the front's interesting. I'm going to fake out Incident because we should always get that off. And I'm going to... I don't even need to trick him here, right? I'm going to just Dragon Pulse the Terrapagos. If it's not max speed Terrapagos, we'll at least break Terra Shell and that'll be good. Fake out. Flinch. They are slower than us, that's what I thought. They get a thing off, that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and decorate Dialga. And I'm going to protect. Uh, decorate goes through Protect. Rillaboom comes in. Okay, so they're going to have Fake Out next turn, which is not great, but it's okay. They just want to keep getting things off. What if I just do this? What do you do then? I'll, I'll eat the Fake Out. It's fine. <laughs> I'll just take a Fake Out. We're going to decorate ourselves. This guy's name is a lot of bees. I, I respect that name. That's a good name. When did the AC come on? Because it wasn't on when I started recording. Am I like generating heat? The AC kicked on? Oh, that's interesting. Why would you get rid of your own terrain? Just for more HP? We'd do a good chunk of damage. Oh! Oh, I don't like that! Okay, well, I'm faster than the Rillaboom, too, which is pretty nice. I want to... The question here is, do I think Terrapagos is going to protect? Because I kind of do. But if that's... If I make the wrong play here, I think I just lose. You know what I mean? I think this is the play I want to make. Okay, Incineroar switches in. Does Terrapagos protect? It does! Give me a big fat KO! Goodbye! <laughs> you can't stop me! I cannot be stopped! Oh, but they're gonna get terrain back, which is kind of annoying, isn't it? Hmm. I'm gonna have to... What can I do, actually? Uh, because if they have grassy terrain, I can't do anything, right? Hmm. I can... what? Where do I think the fake out is going? Is the fake out going into Dialga? Is it going into Smeargle? How much HP does Dialga need to eat a Grassy Glide? These are all important questions. I'm gonna do this. I don't want to eat my Terra yet, because I do four times resist Grassy Glide. Right? Okay? Okay? Okay. It looks like we made the right play, I think. I'm going to get a Moongusen. I'm going to click Spore on Terrapagos. Go for the Dragon Pulse into Rillaboom. Uh, no. I'm going to click Spore on Terrapagos. Go for the Flash Cannon into Rillaboom. I just need... I need to get rid of... Do I live? Please. Oh my god, Dialga, you're the best. Oh my god, Dialga, you're the best. This does not KO Amoongus, but it does KO Dialga. That's okay. Because we get the Spore off, which means that Ursaluna comes in. Ursaluna can KO Terrapagos. What's the last mon? It's comfy. That's bad. Um, that's really bad. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, so we spore, and we just gotta start clicking headlong rush. There's nothing else I can do. I gotta hope I get enough turns of sleep. I guess. Well, actually, they're only at plus one. So let's go. Does it have Giga Drain? That's a really scary question. Oh, they might just taunt me, huh? It's fine. If they taunt me, they don't heal Terrapagos. Okay, yeah, that sucks. That really, really sucks. I hate Terrapagos. That's a good chunk of damage. And I get the Spore off. If... If I can just live. If Terrapagos stays asleep, we can win this. The only way we can win is if Terrapagos stays asleep. Please, Terrapagos. Oh my god, we did it! I'm the GOAT! Ah! <laughs> uh... Oh, 
Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> Don't sleep on Amoogus, Gail. <laughs> Amoogus is so good. Last game. Here we go. <laughs> I'm having such a great time today. Okay, Maridon. Maridon's not great, but we can take away his terrain, which is pretty great. But they're not running any other Paradox. They're running any Paradox mods? That's weird. Hmm. Okay. So, let's think about this. I'm going to go Smeagol Dialga. I think that's just fine. Grimmsnarl is a little concerning, but I think it's okay. You know? Or Saluna and Didi? I don't think Amoongus works here, unless we can take away Terrain. I think I really want Ursaluna. Yeah, let's go in Didi. Having four Trick Room Setters on this team feels insane, but it's, it's working. It's working out. <laughs> to be honest, it works out. Thank you, Dialga, for four times resisting Grassy Glide, yo. <laughs> you're the, you're honestly an icon. <laughs> Now, because I was afraid the uh, the Terrapagos was going to protect. Going going back, I could have just targeted the Terrapagos because it didn't protect. But I was afraid they would protect and just go for, like, an extra Grassy Glide. You know what I mean? Because that's honest, honestly a, a great play for them to make. Okay. All right. I'm going to fake out this guy, and I'm going to... Well, do I even need to click Trick Room? Hold on. I don't need Trick Room right now. Let's just, let's just not set it up yet. We don't need it yet. Is that Doja Cat? Is that a Doja Cat joke? It's not a good Doja Cat joke. Actually, te technically speaking, I think you could get uh, DQ'd from a tournament for setting Doja as the nickname on your Incineroar. <laughs> that's actually a rule now, I think. Light screen. Okay, that's fine. Um, let me think about this here. What do I want to do? I'm just going to decorate. Like, really, do I have a reason to do anything else? I'm just going to protect and decorate this turn. I feel like two parting shots are coming out, both in a Dialga. Let's see. <laughs> Show me the parting shot. <laughs> oh, you fool. Uh, let's switch it in for this uh, this guy here. I'm going to Dragon Pulse that guy. Let's see if they go for the... They do. You absolute fool. Bo Show me the Maridon. Okay, it's Volcarona. That's fine. That's still a lot of damage. Ah, uh, man. I wish the Maridon had come in on that slot. There's the Maridon. Okay, that's fine. It is the safer switch, after all. Okay, so what do I want to do here? I'm going to... I think now we set up Trick Room, right? Yeah, I'm going to follow me in Trick Room. What are they going to do about it? Nothing. <coughs> they can Quiver Dance all day. Dazzling Gleam, I forgot. Oh, double spread moves is actually kind of scary, but we actually didn't really take a whole lot of damage from that. <laughs> now we get our Saluna in. And, like, obviously they're going to switch, right? But I don't lose anything if they switch. So I'm just going to Earthquake and Dragon Pulse them right on slot. I really, like I said, I really don't lose anything. Even if Incineroar comes in, which it does, which is fine. I don't really care. They actually double switched. Um, I wish I hadn't Dragon Pulse. Oh, I actually, I don't care. We're going to take two KOs, I think. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, we're so good at this game, guys. We're so good at this game. <laughs> uh, is it Terra Fairy? Oh, it is. Oops. Oops. How much do you take from this earthquake? Way too much, right? Ah, uh, that's actually not that bad. Okay, that's fine. Um... So what do I have to do? Just like KO this and yeah, you don't win. You, there's no way you win this. <laughs> this is a great team. Honestly, I'm pretty jazzed that it works as well as it does. Um, if you enjoyed this video, guys, leave me a big fat like, leave me a comment. Like I said, subscribe, please. Um, there are a lot of people who watch my videos that aren't subscribed and if you subscribed and we could be friends, That'd be pretty great. But with that, everybody, my name is Andrew. I'll catch you guys next time. Once upon a time, man, I heard that I was struggling. Came from a gym where power creep wasn't coming in. Face long, stats tight, defense up, shack height. Sturdy on me, sash like, got the TM last night. Hit me with that good move, make this mountain act right. Bast boys, to hit that building. I know that's right. Big Bast busting out these body presses, bout to buy a body bag and